Meet Frank. Frank is a 3D printing robot. And he's hard at work building an entire house. It's the four bedroom, four bath. From the ground up in a fraction of the time. We're doing this with robotic precision. We're gonna show you how 3D printing homes is bringing down the skyrocketing price of housing. How much home buyers are saving? What these construction crews are still learning from all this and why they admit there's still a lot of work left to do. Excuse us guys, we're uh, shooting right over here. We're inspecting your work, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trevor Ragno is one of the pioneers of 3D printed homes. He's showing us the inside of this home in Melbourne, Florida, that was just created using Frank the Robot. So what are we looking at in here? So yeah, there's a lot going on in here, but right now we've just kind of walked into a living room. We could take a couple more steps forward if you wanted to come in here. Um, we have a viewing area for kind of a living room. We have a TV that's being mounted here, okay. a recessed fireplace. Um, we have actually 3D printed some components on the ground, which are, uh, our, it's our mantle going across here, and an arch in the back that'll go up top. Frank was built by Apis Core, which is the company Travis works with as head of construction and building technology. Layer by layer, Frank pipes out rows and rows of concrete, which all stack to form the walls of the house. So this, I assume this would be the kitchen back here. Yeah, so th the kitchen essentially stops right about where we're standing right here. Okay. We have a bedroom, bedroom one, we have bedroom two over here, okay. and then we have back-to-back -back bathrooms right here. And here's the thing, Frank doesn't get tired. As this time-lapse video shows, he can go all day and all night. That means the project doesn't need as many construction workers. Can we talk about affordability real quick? Absolutely, yeah. So how does this solve the housing affordability problem? At least in the home that we're sitting in now, we're about 30% more affordable than what our neighbors are per square foot. Um, with that being said, I mean, our, our neighbor over here, uh, I think they're going on the market soon. Um, the older home back in, built back in the 80s, uh, I think it's a 3-2, 1,500 square feet. They're going on the market for 440, and they'll probably get it. Here, we aren't a 3-2, we're a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, we aren't built in the 80s, we're new construction. We're 2,100 square feet, not 1,500. Um, and we're right around with land, absolutely everything that goes into this, uh, including septic, well, all of the furnishings, a nice 75 inch Samsung TV, recessed fireplace, everything but the carpet and drapes, um, all comes to about 305. That $135,000 savings is just one of the benefits of a 3D printed home. Buildings like this also allow more flexibility in the design and shorter construction times. These homes can also stand up to hurricane force winds and earthquakes. Most of the 3D printed homes in the world have been built here in North America so far. But building codes haven't caught up with all this technology. So it's making it a little bit more challenging to build in some areas. And the need for fewer construction workers also means fewer jobs in the areas they're built. Trevor says there's another limitation. I'd say our biggest challenge is making enough robots to satisfy demand for people. You know, when you're, when you're starting to build technology of this scale, um, it, it's not necessarily a cell phone case you're making or something like that. It's a, you know, a very serious piece of technology that we want people to be able to use for a long time. Do you see yourself as a solution to the climate issue and to affordability and um, check the list? You know, it, it's, it's tough to say a solution, like any one thing can solve all problems. You know, it's, it's kind of tough to say that. What I can say is that it does make a difference and that's all that we can try to do. Uh, just make the best technology we can and get people homes. Solutionaries needs you to be part of the conversation. Your comments below will help us tackle new topics and track down solutions. And don't forget to subscribe.